Hello. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Scrappa Mechanique. That is not something I should call this. It's just like Simpala Pala Haynes, right? I wonder what Besiege is gonna turn into. You guys can comment down below on that one. But either ways, today I'm gonna be showing you what I have done with the wood wall that I showed you guys in the previous episode, and I did absolutely nothing! Yay! Here's why. This this is why. You see, a little wooden wall, yeah, but I kind of wanted it to look a little bit more like what I actually wanted it to, well, look like. That's a weird thing to say. Either ways, this is a skate park. I'm sort of beginning to, uh, yeah, to make a few obstacles here and there. Or not obstacles, but like rails here. We got a few ramps there. Also leading up to another rail, we got like two inclines. And we got a quarter pipe over here. And of course, the half pipe all the way over here. I don't really know what this is going to be yet. I think this is just going to be something where you can roll up and then jump and then tap the concrete and then go down again. Like, I'm not too sure. And speaking of tapping the concrete, we have skateboards. Honestly, I would much rather tap that ass. Oh, God. Okay, that's... No, fuck. <laughs> Shit. That's the wrong way. Okay, right. Well, it does really matter too much all that matters is that we are still alive and you can't really die in scrap mechanics so yeah wait what the hell is this thing doing over here now all right well i took that skateboard so let's just get it up here can i actually do this yes exactly there's a little bit of a glitch there i guess how about the other one and then when i place this it's probably ah oh, crap yeah this is not gonna work and let's just get you in there there we go so now all four are in line these are the skateboards there is a difference to them and i will also tell you what that is but first of all i need to show you what I was originally working on. All right, so here it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is where I left off with the wood wall, and this is no longer a wood wall, but it indeed is a half pipe. And uh, I was actually planning on maybe making this in modules, like really huge ones, and then putting it over here because this is where I wanted it to be originally. However, when you take a look at the spider web there, you can see that there's obviously a lot of bearings there, and there's also some blocks. Like this is a weird configuration. I just go up here because there is a gap here, and on the other track, I have eliminated that that on the half pipe, but not on the quarter pipe. And again, this is sort of where I stopped because I realized one thing. I pointed the entire wood surface down from the beginning. And that's that's all well and good, right? But it's so long that if I put it onto the lift, it's actually gonna go through the concrete right there. So what I would have to do if this were to work is to put it out to stick sort of horizontally out and then I can weld it to the station over there. But it didn't really work because, well, all of this was going down and it would just take a lot more time. And that was also yesterday, which is why I didn't really get a video out there. And I kind of hate the fact that that didn't happen. But either ways, this is actually Pretty damn smooth, I gotta be honest. And I think there's like three wooden blocks because that is where the bearing is, right? And then let me take another color. So there goes the other one. I can't color that. Well, I can, of course, color that, but not if I take here and then drag it. And when I do that again, it may look like a half block, but that's just because it's turned a little bit because of the bearing in there. So it's actually sticking through. And this means that is not a part of it. So there's like three blocks there, and then there's a bearing, and then another bearing, three blocks, and so on and so forth. Yeah, I'm not too sure why I explained that, but I guess that's for the people that are interested in the background stuff with this one but either ways let's go in and see about the degrees because i don't remember and that is now six degrees right that's pretty cool on the other one that i showed you first it's seven because it is a tad smaller and just to explain that whole thing with the uh, top there that would be out horizontally instead of going down well it's actually pretty easy and i don't even think i need to explain it but i'm doing it anyway what i did in the beginning is this right that is not what i should have done i should have done this because then when I put it onto the lift, that is going to be the default, like, angle of it, I guess. And that way it would not go down through the concrete and I could actually weld it on. So there is a bunch of issues there. I don't think that glitch welding is going to do anything about it, honestly. Like, not in a good way. Because then it would just be sticking through another layer of concrete because there is one there to support the entire, like, curve. And then the other one over there just because, well, it's a base. And then there also is the ground itself. So that is one huge problem. And so eventually I landed on this. And this is is actually like pretty decent again there is a little bit of a crack there because i didn't know the way to fix it before but it is definitely fixed way over here and i'm also just going to remove that freaking seat that is horrible to look at but as you can see right there it is pretty damn smooth now i did make a little mechanism there that's sort of going to push it up a little bit because that was the issue over there but uh, that also means as you can see it's a little bit of a raw surface like there are very very tiny bumps and of course that is the same thing over here just because, right? And also this up here, just because easiness and long live laziness and all that stuff. But yes, let's go ahead and take a look at the skateboards. So first off, right off the bat, this. 
this right here. You can stand on it. Now, how is this going to work, or how does it work in general? Well, there is a mod, and it is a collected mod. I believe it is Grego mod, MJM mod, and also Durf. And these three guys have come together and actually made a really, really cool mod pack. There is a link to that in the description below. I will link MJM's channel and also the two other ones, but MJM's channel is the one where I found the mod. So please hop on into the description below and check out all three modders because they really are talented guys. I'm just going to smack down a few of these, but this is basically what I have used. This is the standing driver's seat, and it is absolutely awesome. You can even do a little dance here. Pretty cool. And basically, that is just all of these small dots right there, right? So that is where your feet is going to get planted. I kind of thought this needs mods because you're not able to build a very good skateboard in the original scrap mechanic right now. And it's even like these small wheels right there. That is so cool. Also, because that really made everything work, like with the skateboard idea and everything. So mods... They are definitely the way to go. And you can also see right there, there's a little sort of gray square. That is actually a thruster. So I think this one, yeah, see, I set it to Goofy, right? And this is, uh, or is this regular? Yeah, I think this is Goofy stance. I honestly cannot remember the names for the stances. But either ways, in the Goofy stance on the very light board, because it's made out of wood, I put the thruster in the front. And oh god, that's way too fast. <laughs> Shit. That must be one hell of a ride. Just put you there. So yeah, first of all, I know that I can go in and turn down the speed, but that is already like way, way low. So I honestly don't know what is going on there. So I thought, why not get something that's a little bit heavier? So I got this and that is also the wrong way. It works a lot better though, like really, really good. And I don't think that the first one had both of the wheels turn. Let me just see there. Nope. See, that's only the front there that's turning. So that's pretty good. This also allows for a lot more maneuverability, but be careful when you're going too fast. So you don't necessarily do something like this <laughs> holy shit yeah it's actually pretty fun to mess around with and then ah uh, oh crap yeah okay see this is the <laughs> this this is the freaking issue with it is that that little gap right there is definitely screwing me over and also some of these very small humps over here but not nearly as much as the other gap and you see the little white square there that is the thruster that i just colored in so what i tried to do is to make some sort of a jumping mechanism but because of the thruster it turned into a reverse manual i think and then hey boost so no, we can even go ahead and delete that one because that is not nearly as good. So this one is the one that I kind of landed on. This one was just like way out there. I don't know what the hell that was doing, but this is what I landed on because now it's in the middle. Like the thruster is in the middle. I need to turn this one around. <laughs> God damn it. That would add a lot more success to this episode, I feel. So yeah, it definitely works like really, really well with the weight suspension. But when you jump this... Oh, crap. Okay, yeah, it's definitely designed for a quick tap, but you can basically see what is happening, right? It is jumping, and it is completely even in the air. That was the goal. So you can do something like this right here. You're coming into the rail. Oh, crap. Yeah, okay, you can also jump over the freaking rail. Right, let's try it on this ramp right here. Let's just do a little bit of a... Oh, crap. What the hell just happened there? Okay, this is interesting. This went way better when I tested it out. Okay, well, that that is terrible. Quite terrible. <laughs> God damn it, why does this not work all of a sudden? I just playtested it before doing this. I don't know if it's the recording or whatever. It wouldn't make too much sense if it was. Let's go up again. <laughs> This is so stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of there. Oh, crap. That's that's actually really sad to me, too, because this is sort of the main attraction of the episode itself. Oh, I completely forgot these seats on there, so maybe that is the key. Uh-huh, I see. And also first-person mode, because awesomeness. Right, so let's try this one more time. I don't think that is going to... Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> nope, didn't work. Okay, so I'm going to try this with just like one of these things because I can delete some things. That was actually the wrong thing that I just deleted. Really not good, to be honest. Really not good. But you know what? It doesn't really matter too much. I can always put it on again. Or maybe that was actually the correct thing. Hmm, I am so confused right now, but you see there, then it's sort of notching forwards just a little bit. That also makes the curve a lot smoother, but then there's the issue with a freaking gap. I guess we're just gonna try it out the way it is, right? So up there, that's, okay, so that's a lot better, and then, oh, down, no, oh, that's pretty cool from first person mode. Oh, try one more time, and of course, we kind of fail there. Right, turning around and doing it one more time. All right, so this should give us a pretty good run up right here, so there we kind of go, and then turn around to, <laughs> <laughs> that would be the worst possible bail ever. Jesus Christ. So yeah, it's a little bit of a tighter section and a lot more smoother curve, but you can see here it's also kind of evening itself out a lot more than over here because the humps are a lot bigger. But either way, let's go around and let's skate something. I'm not too sure what else to add to this one, but I guess that's also the purpose. Come on. Oh, 
Are you serious right now? You can go forwards, but you can't go up there. That's just perfect. Uh, how about try again? That's worse. What the hell? That's worse. I should really add a reverse thing to this, but for now, this is all that we have. Let's just do this. So what I want to do is... That's the wrong way now. What the hell is going on? Hang on a second. Don't get caught there. That's good. And then... Oh, oh, what, whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell happened there, skateboard? Hello. Right, so just to keep track, I have colored the front block there. So let's go on up to some rails. I get... Fuck, that's... No, no, jump. Oh, what? That was almost a kickflip. I don't even know how the hell that happened happened. Let's try this out. So, <laughs> we just completely jumped over it. Like I said, this is definitely designed for a very quick tab. Quite like that, but that was actually a little too weak. God damn it. And now the skateboard is stuck. So this was my expectation, right? You just go up here, do a few jumps, catch some more speed, go up to the half pipe there, or quarter pipe rather, then just go onto the rail right there, and then just do a little kickflip or whatever, then go onto the real half pipe, and then right back onto the jump right there, maybe do a little bit of a 180. Oh crap. Yeah, I completely forgot. I'm going the other way now. So that was my expectation. This is reality. And it's stuck. Yeah, so I guess maybe we would have to scale this entire area up, like a lot more. But like I said, this is not done because I want you guys input on it as well. But maybe we should scale it up and actually make something that makes the trucks and just the entire skateboard work a lot better. Because this is maybe not too optimal. So I'm just going to try the half pipe here because it is indeed fun if you can figure it out. Yes, there we go. And then on to the, uh, the rail. Oh, crap. Yeah, the trucks are in there. See, either I'm just going to hit it like right there and they just basically be stuck, or I'm just gonna hit it and fly up into the air, so either way, it's pretty much just gonna fail. I'm just gonna try this one more time, so jump a little bit early, and oh, okay, see that's what happens when it hits, but it doesn't work out correctly, yeah, yeah, hmm. I don't know. I mean, like I said, maybe we should build something that's much, much bigger and then maybe have like a like a scaled up version of it, basically. So the skateboard also would work a lot better. I don't know. You guys can leave your comments below, but please also leave a comment below on what you guys would like to see in this world, because there's plenty of things to build. And I was thinking about maybe doing a little vacation treehouse. So yeah, treehouse, I definitely think that would be very, very cool. Maybe also some transformation and stuff. But either ways, I would love to add something that's a little bit more functional than this because this looks cool but the purpose of it is not really fulfilled. But either ways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to some more Scrap Mechanic. I am definitely going to continue building on this world, but don't worry, I'm also going to continue building on the Mecha Ramp and also my No Man's Sky-esque type spaceship. But either ways, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this episode of Scrap Mechanic. Maybe, I can't promise anything, but maybe there will be a giveaway of a Scrap Mechanic code in the future. So thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.